Well, we're back in New Zealand with Jamie, Corey, and Chip, and we're chasing red stag, tar, and chamois. Primarily, this hunt's going to be with our bows, and I can't wait to get this started. It's going to be one heck of a challenge to get in bow range, but we're all looking forward to it. New Zealand is one of my favorite places to hunt because of how beautiful it is here and just how many animals are roaming on these properties. It's been a few years since I was here, so I'm ready to get after it with all the guys. Each of us have got a couple of tags in our pockets, and after a long plane ride, we're ready to get out there and see some of this beautiful New Zealand country. Uh, we're going to sight the, the Rev X in, get it shooting good, and then we'll shoot a couple with the broadhead just to make sure they're flying like they're supposed to, because I always do that off anything. And then I'm going to get my bow going, and... Uh, in between rain showers, we'll shoot the bows a little bit or we'll just shoot off the covered porch. Our Bowtech bows and Excalibur crossbows made the trek all the way to the South Island of New Zealand. We're shooting the big NAP four blade mechanical heads on this trip. These things are absolutely devastating on the animals. Before we do any hunting, we're gonna put these broadheads on our arrows and make sure our bows are hitting the right spot. That way when we get that one opportunity, we know we can make it happen. Everybody's itching to get out and start glassing and scouting, but until this rain stops, there's not much we can do. Dead. There you go. That's there. Good shot. We're ready to go. We've got a little bit of cabin fever. Day a day of rain has kept us in, and we're ready to go out and do something. Been staring at this big old stag they killed. That's all boiled out for a euro right here. Just got me wanting to go do it myself. Well, it's been raining here in New Zealand since we got off the plane. We've got the new RevX Excalibur crossbow dialed in for Jamie, and I was able to get my Bowtech Core SS ready to rock. And we started checking some of the maps, looking for some nearby areas that we could get in the bottom and glass the mountainside so we could put a plan together for hunting later in the week. There's supposed to be a break in the weather tonight, so we're going to hop in the car, head out and glass some of the nearby mountains and just see what we see. I would think after all this rain, the animals are going to be on their feet, showing themselves, and they're going to want to feed. Our main goal tonight, find some areas where we can hunt tar and hopefully get our eyes on a couple of big red stags. The amount of rain they get over here is absolutely insane. When you look at the forecast, they don't talk about how much rain or if it's going to rain. They literally talk about how many inches per hour it is raining. Well, we found a whole bunch of tar. Pretty good number of stags down there. Bows are hitting the dots. It's time to go kill something. First thing in the morning. Yep. We were going to go tonight. There's this wall of something coming over there. We just can't decide if it's a good idea or not. <laughs> Jamie talked, his, his age and wisdom talked me out of going. <laughs> For once, I was right about something. Well, to kick off all this hunting action, we're here for a while, but I'm gonna go after a big bull tar with my bow. I've always wanted to hunt Himalayan tar. I don't know what's gonna happen, but let's give it a try. Tar, along with a lot of other game animals, were introduced in New Zealand over 100 years ago. Now they're everywhere. These mature bulls have thick manes, similar to like a lion almost to the point where you can barely see their horns when they're all puffed up. When you see one all puffed up like this, that's when you know you got a good one. These New Zealand mountains are incredibly steep. At the lower elevations, the brush is thick. Our plan is to get to this thick brush line, use that to our advantage so that we can slip into range as the tar come down the mountain to feed in the evenings.
That's what I'm talking about. I had to leave Jamie back here filming because I was over there low crawling around, slide hillings, butt sliding, doing everything. It was crazy. But this up and down shooting, man, it's, it's, it, it's not easy. Tar down, baby. Tar down. Good job. You're the man. Man, it don't get any better than this. Himalayan tar on the ground here, South Island of New Zealand. Come out of breath because we're on the side of this giant mountain. I wanted to show you the mane on that thing though. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that. Is that not cool? We're offering these hunts now on the South Island of New Zealand for Himalayan tar, red stag, and chamois. I just did this with my bow. My first time, I'm learning uh, from some great guides here, but I'm gonna be guiding some of these hunts, so come do it with me. Love to have you, give us a call. Uh, this is a ton of fun, and I'm telling you right now, very few places on earth that are this pretty. This is a heck of a view where we're sitting right now where we just killed this beautiful animal. Got it done with the Botech Core SS. Heck of a day. Thanks for filming it, Jamie. Well, the trip is off to a great start. Wow. I was able to get my tar with the bow, and that is a huge goal of mine. And I can't believe it worked out like it did this fast into the trip. It's not easy to hike these mountains. They are steep. You got to work the bottoms through the thick brush, get up to the open country or above tree line where the tar are, and then you still got to get in range. They're smart, incredibly tough, and they live in areas that are almost impossible to get to sometimes. A lot of times, people in New Zealand, when they hunt the tar, will use a helicopter to get to the top of the mountain. It's perfectly legal when you hunt here, and a lot of times you have to do it because some of the hiking can just be dangerous. This hunt though, absolutely rewarding. I was able to put in the effort spotting, making a plan, hiking up into position, and then being able to get in range and being able to make that shot. It all came together, what an experience. I can't tell you how happy I am to wrap my tag around this big bull tar. Now we've just got to backpack him off the mountain and get ready for tomorrow's hunt. It's time to get after some of these big red stags we've been seeing.